Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday morning. It's Lisa Baker here at So Indipitous. Woo woo! So this morning, I've got tons of stuff I want to share with you. You know, typically in the morning, I share like one thing just because I don't want to keep you long. But this morning, I have several things I want to share with you. So we're just going to talk about it. I'm going to flip the camera real quick and let's take a look at some beauties that arrived yesterday. So yesterday morning, Mr. Ed Baker that does these lovely, lovely wood quilt blocks. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Dropped off two new ones. Um, this one is, I mean, it speaks for itself. I've said it before. Each and every one of these woods is its natural color. These are not stained to look like this. This is not painted to look like this. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, just amazing. You can see how the star starts in the middle and then it kind of sprouts out. I see the hearts and thumbs up. Absolutely beautiful. But once again, this is all natural wood, different kinds of wood. Some that is like, um, I think he said your maples, but all the way up to your exotic woods. This is the second one. So if your house is a little more modern and you love geometric um, shapes, this one is the one for you. Look at the richness in that wood. Once again, total natural woods, not painted this is their natural color. Absolutely amazing. Good morning, Miss Julie. I agree. I think you said you love that one. Um, I think you posted that uh, right before I slid over to this one. Good morning, Miss Anna. Yes, it is gorgeous. His craftsmanship is absolutely amazing. Guys, these are for sale. This one is $175, and this one is $200. And like I said, I think it's 24 inches by 24 inches square. Um, Steve says Ed rocks. Yes, he does. Absolutely. Okay. That's only the first pretty I've got to show you this morning. I have another pretty, pretty that I've had for a while, but there've been so much to talk about that this one hasn't made the cut for a video, but it did this morning. So I'm going to share a table runner that I did. And, um, I think you guys will enjoy. Yes, Jan, I agree. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Let me flip my camera. And we're going to talk about this lovely table runner. Very spring summery. Absolutely love it. Um, it is called the Orange Peel Table Runner. This is a cut loose uh, press pattern. Absolutely love it, love it, love it. All you need to make this lovely table runner is a little bit of background fabric. You need a charm pack. And then um, it is using this Roundup tool uh, ruler, which I absolutely love, 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 love. You can make circles with it. You can um, make your orange melon. I'll get up a little bit closer. And you can make that in two different sizes, as you can see, small and large. But super easy. Let's dive into this just a little bit. So it is all raw applique. So don't be fretting that you have to sew um, curved pieces. This is so easy. So as you can see, if I remember correctly, these were like um, five inch or maybe six inch um, blocks. You Fuse your orange peel that you have created with your ruler. And as you can see, it's this bigger one. Let me put that on there so you can kind of see. It's hard to hold the camera and do the ruler. But you cut those out of your charms. Okay? You cut those out of your charms. You raw fuse applique that down. And then I stitched mine down with a little blanket stitch. I know I'm not even sure you guys can see it because I did match my thread. Let me see. If I can find one, yeah, I did a good job. <laughs> anyway, so also you will see the curved edges on here. I did use this ruler to cut um, the square edge off of my table runner. Absolutely love it. Now, for the most part, when I am doing my um, binding, I just do my binding. I cut straight from salvage to salvage. This one I did cut on the bias because I did do curved and I absolutely love it because guess what? No mitered corners, girls and gals, uh, guys and gals, I should say. 
absolutely love. Super cute. Here's the backing to that. I did um, quilt this on my Epic in the hoop embroidery. And uh, we're going to talk about the Epic in a minute, uh, or the Epic 2, I should say. But super cute. And so, guys, with that, think about it. So, of course, this one is a spring one. And hold on a minute. I have the fat quarter here. This was done with Emma. And you could really mix and match yours up as you want. I chose to do the scrappy look here because I wanted all of those colors because I knew I wanted this binding. But if you really want to pull out of here and focus on a color or two, you could absolutely um, do that. So here is another great charm pack that's in the shop right now that would be great for summer. Um, it's called Sun Washed. Super cute. Now, you guys know I love me some Brady Bunch. So this is, if you want a groovy table uh, runner like this, you could definitely pull some of the Brady Bunch fabric. That would be super cute. And then also, hold on, sorry. They're all so far from me. Um, Summer Breeze. I absolutely, as I was making this, I was thinking, you know, a nice Summer Breeze uh, table runner in this would be so yummy. And once again, you can choose your backing to where you have a reversible table runner. I did choose a darker on this. Um, typically, I probably wouldn't with such a spring. But for some reason, this fabric was calling to me. I loved the big flowers. But anyway, I think Summer Breeze would be really cool. Um, we only have like two of these charm packs left from Wild Bloom. I think Wild Bloom would also make a yummy, yummy summer table runner with this pattern. Good morning, Miss Sean. I see you say you love these and adorable. You love the table runner. I am in total agreement. Now, if you like something a little more funky, I think this uh, particular uh, charm pack would be amazing. It's called Watercolor Ge Geometry. And look at those bold, beautiful colors. I see the hearts flying. I think this charm pack would make a great table runner like this. And then also we do have the, um, and I'm saying charm pack, guys. I know these ones here are not Moda, so five-inch stackers. Um, but this one called Sunnyside is super cute. Um, look at those prints inside this. Once again, I think it would make a lovely, lovely um, orange peel table runner. Super cute. Now, if you want something a little more patriotic, um, maybe for Labor Day, this Union Square uh, charm pack, absolutely yummy. It is all of your Union Station patriotic colors. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Maybe you are the urban uh, barnyard um, uh, feel in your home. The grays, this charm pack also would make an amazing table runner. Um, it would just be so pretty. You can do it so many ways. Now, the one on the cover is done like Christmas. So I definitely went ahead and pulled this blizzard uh, by Sweetwater Charm Pack. Super cute. There is some um, little, look at that one. Let me flip back and see if I can find him again. Did you see that cute little snowman? I think this would make a cute table runner as well. You guys have been loving favorite things. This one is designed to kind of have that Christmas feel without Christmas in your face. All the reds and the greens. And look up there, that diagonal uh, where did it go? Ah, that binding would be phenomenal. And then, of course, Christmas Eve is out right now. Layla Batiks, once again, if you want a little softer Christmas feel, I think that would make a fabulous table runner. And I saved a yummy, yummy to last. Now, guys, don't scream at me. I only have one charm pack left out of the forest frolic. So if you want a fall table, cloth, uh, table runner, I absolutely think this would be so, so yummy. Good morning, Miss Barbara. And yes, Denise, cute table runner. I appreciate that. It was super fun. So this is the thing. So let's think about this. When you get a pattern such as this and you're doing a table runner, all you have to do is cut it down a little bit and then you can create um, 
placemats. So for this pattern, and hold on, let me look real quick, you only need 12 of those five inch squares out of that charm pack, only 12. So that leaves you with quite a bit to where you could probably make up to four or maybe six placemats to match your table runner. So it's definitely like a two in one. You get your table runner, just cut that pattern down a little bit, make you some placemats. And like I said, you can make them for summer, fall, spring, winter, um, Halloween. Halloween would be really cute in this. It is very easy. Not a lot of piecing. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good morning, Miss Nancy. I hope you're doing well. Good morning, Miss Gladys. So let's talk about the Epic 2. Remember I told you guys that I uh, quilted this. I'm going to flip it to the back because I think it's easier to see the quilting. I did that quilting on my Epic. Um, the Epic 2 that is in the store, we do have it on an amazing, amazing, amazing summer sale. It is like five or $6,000 off. They are closing out on the Epic 2 Husqvarna Viking because there is, of course, always a replacement coming, but I have never seen the price so low on this Epic 2. So if you have thought about going to the top of the line, um, now is the chance to do it. The pricing is amazing. It is even cheaper than it was at our grand opening for Husqvarna last year. And then also, if you are thinking of trading in, um, you might want to consider that. Now the pricing obviously changes on a trade in, um, depending on whether, you know, value. But at this point, to be honest, if you're doing trade-in, you might want to do it on one of the other machines, not trade up to an Epic 2 because the price on the Epic 2 is, I mean, it is at the, amazing, amazing. Come talk to me. Come see me about it. Let's make an appointment. Let's do a playtime on the Epic 2. It is a great time to get a top-of-the-line machine for, honestly, um, a steal. It is a steal. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the quilt, Wood Quilt Blocks by Ed Baker this morning. I hope you've enjoyed the look at this table runner and all the possibilities of the charm packs that you could use for that. And of course, once again, um, don't forget if you're in uh, the market for a sewing machine, come see me. No matter if you're looking for mechanical or all the way up to Lux, I got you guys covered. And you guys know that we give good customer service here at Sewendipitous. Guys, for now though, this is Lisa. Once again, it's so indipitous where unexpected happiness is found in every stitch. Guys, be blessed, and thanks for everything. I appreciate you. Bye. Stay out of the heat.